Oh, that was rough. the earliest I've gotten up and gotten ready since before this pandemic hit. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> I had to set an alarm for probably the second time, second or third time since all of this hit. We're talking like March, since March. Oh, that was rough. It is 7.34 right now. I had to set my alarm for 6.30 and then I woke up at 6.10 and pushed the alarm to 6.50 because <laughs> I was like, I am not waking up in 20 minutes. I have a dentist appointment this morning because two days ago my filling and probably like, I don't know if I have a crown on that tooth, but like half my tooth is missing. I And I've really never ever had anything like this happen. I've never had a filling come out. I've never had a gaping hole in my mouth. It doesn't hurt, but it's razor sharp. And so I have an appointment to go and get it fixed. And I, this is the earliest they could, or the soonest they could get me in. And I think it's because no one wanted this eight o'clock appointment <laughs> on a summer day. So I had to, it sucks too, because like we're going to the beach today, but I can't go to the dentist, like not without makeup on and not presentable. So I'm all like done up to go to the dentist. And then I got to come home and sweat the heat to pack up the car to go to the beach. <laughs> Probably end up taking my makeup off at the beach. Tip, take makeup wipes to the beach. Because no matter what happens, your face always gets nasty at the beach. <sighs> Let's go and go to the dentist. <laughs> of my mouth is numb. It's 10 30. It's been three hours since I last chat chatted with you guys and I just barely left the dentist's office. It took two and a half hours. I did a full root canal. My tooth was basically decayed and I couldn't feel it because the nerves were damaged around it which is I guess good because I didn't feel any pain from it but he says it's probably been that way for a little while. Probably since I got my braces off and maybe even before that but I didn't trust my dentist at the time that I had my braces on. I didn't trust them to do the work that I probably could have gotten done and it's really difficult to do appointments when you have your braces on because you have to schedule appointments with your orthodontist and your dentist at the same time with a two hour window. Done with that. But this is kind of the same problem Abby had and why we switched to this dentist that I went to today because I trust him. So I'm kind of glad that even though the tooth is basically gone and you know I had to have all this work done today, I trust this dentist a lot. In fact, my father-in-law is going for an appointment um, in probably an hour because <laughs> everyone just goes to this dentist and we appreciate the work that he does. I'm ordering Chick-fil-A. I'm getting a frosted lemonade because I can't eat anything <laughs> for a little while while this is numb. So I had a lot of work done today. He was like, you can stay and get this done if you have time or we're gonna have to do you know, two or three appointments just for the root canal and getting a temporary put on. And I said, my kids aren't even awake. I guarantee you, Kaylee hasn't even texted me back and I've texted her twice. I was like, get it done. Okay, hang on, I gotta order my Chick-fil-A really quick. Anyway, we got all the work done today. I'm gonna go back next week to get the crown put on and he's gonna do a small filling on the tooth next to this one so we prevent any damage to that tooth. Just kind of starting to lean into that tooth. And then they're not doing cleanings at their office right now just because of COVID. And so he's like, after that appointment, we'll just kind of see how things go and when we can get you in because I, I still haven't done a full cleaning since getting my braces off at least from him. COVID just kind of messed everything up right at the time where I was finally like not busy with holidays and birthdays and stuff in January and it's frustrating too because we don't have dental insurance. Jason and I don't pay for dental insurance. One because it's just really really expensive to pay for it yourself when you're a business owner and so when things like this just come up it's cheaper for us to pay out of pocket for dental work than it is to pay for insurance and for a visit if that makes any sense we would pay thousands for jason and i each to have insurance for dental work it's just so expensive and so 
you know, a root canal I've had done out of town before when I was home visiting my family in Utah. It was $1,800 and I had to pay for it out of pocket. So I know that this is gonna be expensive, but at, at the same time, we're not paying for dental insurance. So it's kind of the cost of having to get dental work done. I'm kind of hoping now we do get a second stimulus check. They're gonna improve that on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so I'm kind of hoping. Kind of piddling through our stimulus check with all these stupid extra expenses like dishwashers and stuff. So I'm gonna head home a lot later than I thought I was going to today and get the kids geared up to go to the beach. Um, my friend is dropping her kids off for me to watch at the beach because she still has to work. So I'm gonna be in charge of, I don't think my older kids are gonna go. So I think it'll just be my two younger ones and then her three. So that should be fun. All right, so I got my, my stuff and they had extra breakfast items for free. But they forgot to give me a straw. So now I have to see if the kids, I just cleaned out the car too, I'm annoyed. Just to see if the kids left like a drink back here in my car. Otherwise I have to walk back over to Chick-fil-A. I don't wanna wait in the line. Let's see if I can find, of course the one time, oh, toilet paper. You guys, I can't stand. Oh, it went clear under the seat. Look at this. Toilet paper roll went clear under the seat, and now it's just dragging. Oh. Come on, straw. Find me a straw. Let's see if there's. There's a graham cracker. That's nice, Ashley. All right. An or and Uno cards. Lovely to have children. In a new car. All right, what are the chances of finding a straw in here? Sparklers, you know. Clearly we like Chick-fil-A, napkins. Come on. All right, had to walk back over there, got myself a straw. But they had like extra breakfast items that they were giving away for free. Let's see what I got. Little, oh, I don't know, chicken, goodness sakes. I don't know what they are, but little chicken minis or something. I don't like the breading, but I will take the little nuggets. I will have to wait until I am not numb. My little lower lip is now not numb, but it's from the crease clear up into here. <laughs> that is numb, so I'll have to wait for that, but I can drink the drink out of the other side of my mouth for now. Okay, I gotta get home. All right, got these squirts, and Abby is coming down with her friends um, probably about an hour, and we're headed to the lake, and I forgot my swimsuit top again. I have like a tank top on, it's like a spandex tank top, and then my little uh, Fabletic shorts. I was comfortable doing that up at the river when we were up with our friends, but I was really secluded, and felt comfortable doing it up there but I don't here <laughs> so I might have to just wade in up to my up to my thighs hold my dress up or something if I get hot but I am not getting in wearing what I'm wearing it's a little embarrassing but um anyway you guys excited to go to the lake with your friends yeah it's kind of designated beach day Wednesdays that we've kind of established with all of our friends from church so it's kind of like you don't really need to make sure other people are going to be down here. You just kind of know that you're going to find a friend, which is kind of nice. But we do know our some of our friends are here because they're getting dropped off and we're going to watch them. What is this guy doing? These pumps are teeny tiny and he's like come to a complete stop to go over them. All right, so now we got to get unpacked and down to the lake. Are you not having fun? Is it? It's just, you're done? So we've been hanging out for a while. I haven't filmed very much. <laughs> Chelsea's back here. Building something, a pit? Is that what you're building? But I think we're gonna go. Well, there's only two other women to talk to today. And they had their kids all occupied. They're all teenagers. And then our friends that are Chelsea's age, Henry and Levi, that you, go, you played with them, right? Yeah. But it eventually just kind of got boring and we've been here for 
three and a half hours. I did not film at all. I was really enjoying a cold breeze in the shade the whole time and eating my lunch way late. So I didn't oh, even filming you guys. So I just enjoyed the time talking to my friends, but it wasn't as exciting for these guys. So I promised them some ice cream. Yeah. Yeah? What do you want to get? Do you want a McFlurry? A what? Um, I don't know. We shall see. Someone got spoiled with a McFlurry. But I learned a trick. There's a snack size. Half the price. And it's just the perfect amount. Right? Someone's spoiled. That, that's you. You're spoiled. So Little Miss Cook here is helping me cook. She helped me make some French toast for her and, and Dad and some strawberries. I'm on my last little piece of French toast here. I just made a few. I'm trying to cook the eggs in the middle. I had a little bit extra. So we just did some for Dad. And then I'm going to make some eggs for Chelsea really quick. That's what she wanted for dinner. She doesn't like French toast. So I've got the pan hot. So I've got my salad and my oranges. I'm going light dinner tonight. I'm just, so. Oh, I got some strawberries too. All right, this is what happens when you don't brush your hair after the shower. All right, Jason and I have been here in my office. How long have we been here? A couple Four hours. hours. Two hours? We're trying to refinance our house. It is the time to refinance if you're in the US, or at least maybe where we're at. But it's just a pain in the patootie to get all the documents ready to go. So that's what we've been doing tonight. <laughs> Plus banks are ridiculous because it's like it'll save yeah. you money, you know, hundreds of dollars a month to make it easier for you to make payments. But then they'll say, yeah, sorry, you don't qualify. And I'm like, okay, we've already been paying for like eight <laughs> years, but now you're gonna make it easier for me to pay, but you're telling me I don't qualify. Bankers are idiots. I know. Well, and my friend today was telling me, she's like, if that mortgage company doesn't work for you, I've got one I just closed on. And the other friend was like, yep, I close on Friday, I think, on mine. So I have another company if we could go to, but like it was, she do said it was- Do own their own business? Yeah, they both do. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, this guy owns, he says he does business. Anyway, understands anyway but one of them, the she switched from a 30 year mortgage to a 15 year mortgage. And she said her mortgage only went up just a little bit because they just want to pay it off faster. They're older than us, but oh, so they have to. Yeah. But she's like, it. She's like, yes, we added that savings by going to a shorter mortgage. You know, that gave me a little bit of hope that like we actually could qualify. Hopefully, we can save as much as six thousand dollars a year. I know we could save a lot of money. Anyway, it's just kind of stressful. The kids are, the, Kaylee and Abby are still gone. I've got to track them down. Literally, here, start tracking her. She's supposed to be in a certain area and I'm gonna make sure she's in that area before I tell her she has an hour and a half before she has to come home. And then Abby is still out with her friend and I'll call her, but Chelsea and Ashley are upstairs getting ready for bed. There's, they should be tired. We didn't do a whole lot at the beach, like I said, but glad the tooth is taken care of now. I'm just getting scared for the bill to come. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Jace, you wanna say goodnight? You haven't been on for a while. I just work and make dreams come true. <laughs> He's tired. We're going to go to bed. Actually, we're not going to go to bed. <laughs> it's 8.30. We're not going to bed. It's we're... 8.30. I'd like to exercise and do something. But it's like late. Well, I, I was just going to say I was going to go lay on the couch. <laughs> so you're going to go exercise. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's 8.30. It's like, dude, I came home, got food, and I started working this right away. I know. Well, I brought. I was nice enough to bring him his dinner. How come it's not showing me his location? Because you have to click on, not in this, you have to go to a text message right. and find her name. Anyway, we're going to call it a night. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I have not, like I said at the beginning of this, I have not gotten up that early. Easily five months. Like, even for school, we don't have to wake up until like 8 a.m. What? <laughs> not to wake up? I set my alarm for 6.30 and then I woke up at 6.05 <laughs> and I was like, bag the 6.30 and I pushed it to 6.50 and then I got up at 7. They all hang out in that parking lot. I don't know. But they're over my Safeway. Okay. We like to track our teenagers. I want to put one of those little dog 
<laughs> like animal things to implant under the skin. See, if everyone, anyone thinks that Bill Gates is going to infect everyone, not infect, inje inject. Yeah, give them the vaccine with the microchip because you can't follow them on their phone. I, mean, I know. I'm hard. like, you know, Bill Gates is going to, you know, put a chip inside everyone. I'm like, dude, all I need is an iPhone and I can track my teenagers. <laughs> They don't need to put a chip in us to track us. Yeah, it does every, it from our phones phone, already. Laptop, electronic. Anyway, we're we're getting lippy and we're tired. So take care, you guys. Say goodnight. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe for more fun to come. Maybe we'll have a more of an exciting day than our today was a, a really expensive day. So I'm glad it's over. Because we paid for. <laughs> they don't know about that yet. Now I have to blur that out so they don't know. No, I had a root canal. I don't know how much uh, that's gonna cost. I don't know how much our mortgage is gonna, if it's gonna end help up, us or, help us or not. My computer's acting a little glitchy too. I know, he I might. Need, I need like. He might give Kaylee there. his laptop and buy himself a new one. That might, might be a way of getting Kaylee a that laptop. Makes sense. Tell us, uh, in the comments below, tell us how you manage computers and stuff with your kids, how you keep track of them, and keep them under control. Devices. We have a, every kid has a device, and it's kind of becoming the bane of our existence these days. So, so share how you do it. Share how you, uh, you know, monitor content and stuff. Other people will read the comments and want to know. We want to know. You know. A lot of people with families watch this, so. Put your ideas below. I'm going to bed. I'm not. I don't know why I keep someone going to bed. I'm going to go. Bye.